Many people believe that sexual orientation is a fixed and unchangeable category of existence, and for them, any professional or pastoral initiative to support people leaving homosexual behaviors and feelings is both dangerous and harmful. Yet, ask them for the evidence of peer-reviewed research and scholarship that shows categorically that on average such interventions are harmful and your request will be met with silence because it simply doesn't exist. The attempt to close down professional therapeutic and counseling work which takes seriously the goals of autonomous individuals seeking to get out of homosexual practices means that once a person identifies as gay there is no way of leaving either the identity or the lifestyle. This means that now gay is mandatory, and once a person decides to go to in that direction, they must stay gay, in spite of the fact that science shows that sexuality is fluid and changeable. The interview that follows has an important bearing on this subject. I think the fact that the family now has been redefined that marriage is not between a man and a woman anymore, but can be two men or two women, I think that will have enormous complications by virtue of the fact that it's legislation. So to oppose that position, which is in conflict with the scriptures, there's, a, there's, a, there, there's to be a legislative consequence. And how that's going to be worked out in the coming days, I just wonder. I wonder, will, ch will churches be allowed to teach what they understand to be the biblical position? I wonder, will the state bring pressure to bear on them to have a wider position. I wonder, will schools have to change, even Catholic schools, will, will they have to change their ethos? They may not immediately, but I think over a period of time, I think this will grow and develop and become more dominant and more entrenched in the Irish society. Unlike other great social events in the past, um, it never became an issue of this has to be the dominant position and no other position will be tolerated. Here's the sort of overturn of hundreds and thousands of years of civilization, and it's almost now as if it's a normative experience, when in fact, up until the last few months, it wasn't. If you'd like to hear the full interview, go to voicesofthesilence.tv. Subscribe at no cost to access all the interviews of those who are coming out of homosexual practices and those who support them. And don't forget to buy our DVD, Voices of the Silenced, Part 1.